guys and welcome back to another writing vlog. Today's vlog is a little different. I started the week vlogging just like my everyday like, hey, this is what I'm working on, this is what I'm doing, you know, updates here and there, whatever, my life is boring, I go to work, I go to the gym, I come home. It's Groundhog Day has been for the last two years, much like I'm sure it is with a lot of you. You can probably hear Phoebe running around in the other room. I just got home from the grocery store, so I've been out for a bit, and she likes to go crazy when I come home. But anyways, today I thought I would just do like a little sit down video. I have a pumpkin spice latte. I was gonna make a coffee, but I had to meet a friend for coffee this morning. Anyways, so I just grabbed a latte. So I thought I would just sit down and we could chat about all the things um, and just give you like a little update on what's going on with me um, in terms of writing and stuff and all of that. So today, what is the day? Does anybody else, not only is time moving at like the speed of light, I cannot for the life of me keep track of the days. Like, thank goodness I have calendars everywhere at work, otherwise I'd be, I'm sure I would be dating things wrong. But it is October 17th, so we are officially over halfway through the month of October. And October and November are my two favorite months of the year. October is like when it starts to get cold outside or cooler outside. I live here in Ontario, if you guys didn't know that, I am Canadian. Um, and it's actually pretty cool outside today, which was great. I got to wear like my cozy sweater and leggings and living my best basic girl life um, here. And it's also my birthday month. My birthday is next Sunday. I'm turning 24 on October 24th. So it's what apparently is called my champagne birthday. So not next weekend, but the weekend after. Um, my friend Destiny and I are spending the weekend in Toronto at a nice hotel and we're just gonna hang out and catch up. She's one of my best friends and we don't get together nearly as often as I would like, but we're gonna have a great weekend. So that's kind of what's going on in my non-writer life, I guess. And let's see. So my first pen name book released in September and it was very well received and I'm having a lot of fun um, getting reader reactions and reading the, the reviews that come in. But I'm also now, I've started on book two for my pen name, but I, I, don't, I don't know, I don't wanna say it's like stage fright because I've released the first one and people are reading it and liking it and you know, I'm gaining a lot of followers on TikTok. TikTok has been like, a game changer um, for this pen name. I'm having a lot of fun with it and that's really refreshing because with like, I was really feeling the social media burnout for a while uh, with my other books and just in general, which is why I pulled back a lot from it. I rarely use Facebook and Twitter and like I'm on Instagram daily, but I'm not posting daily and that's been really nice actually. I am working on book two, still in the outlining stage, feeling the pressure a little bit. I think I made a small mistake in that looking back, I probably should have written the first like two or three books before I started releasing them because uh, readers are already like coming at me asking when the second one's coming out, which is great. I love that because it means they're excited for it and they want more. Um, but yeah, I'm freezing up a little bit and I still kind of like need to figure out what the heck is gonna happen in this book. Like I know a lot of it. Um, it's just kind of figuring out what happens when to get from point A to point B. Uh, so I do really need to buckle down and get working on that. But this other story that I've talked about before that I'm going to be writing next year, The Devil's Waltz, I shouldn't say writing, rewriting for the 10 millionth time like in the back of my head right now and I really want to work on it but I can't because I need to follow my freaking schedule so I keep like daydreaming about it even though it is not on deck to be worked on for months and it's driving me crazy I just 
mm, it's frustrating but exciting because there was a one point and I think it was like last year that I was worried it was when I was working on these wicked delights and I was like I don't really know what's next like I knew that I wanted this pen name to start but I wasn't really sure what I would be publishing under Jesse Elliott next and that kind of freaked me out but now that I know what's coming next I'm like, all right, I'm set, I'm good, let's go. Let's figure this out, let's outline it, let's write it, like, let's let's go. <sighs> the, the problem here is with having a pen name, it's still just me. Like, I, I don't know what I thought, like, oh, I'm like making myself into two people so I can write twice as much, which is incorrect, very incorrect. So that's kind of where I'm at. Like I, I need to be working on one thing and I'm excited to be working on it, but I'm also scared that it's not gonna live up to you know reader expectation. But I'm also like wanting to work on this other thing that is like starting a whole new series. Uh, the Devil's Waltz is gonna be a trilogy, so it's the Devil's Trilogy. And at least at this point, and I have titles for all three and I, like, I know how book one and book two go. Not sure really what's gonna happen in book three. <sighs> There's just a lot going on up here. And yeah, so basically my focus from now until the end of the year is my pen name series. And I need to just like shut the door to the devil's waltz and just be like, I'll be with you in a moment. Like I need to finish this first. But yeah, I am doing NaNoWriMo in November. So I will be writing most of the book, the book two, I would imagine. Uh, I should have had the outline done already. It is not. I did write a little bit of the first chapter yesterday and by a little bit, I mean like maybe 50 or 100 words, like not a lot. I'm gonna work on it this afternoon. Preptober has been kind of like a, a train wreck in that like I was sort of prepping, but I also started drafting and I need to be further into drafting. Like I'm not gonna be starting at zero on November 1st. I don't know, and I don't know that I will write 50,000 words in November, it, I'm, I guess I'm going to be a nano rebel because I will be finishing book two and also editing book two in November to release it in December. Initially, with my publishing plan, I had planned to publish the first one in September, which I did. So, yes, I get one point for that. And then I planned to publish the second one in November, which in a perfect world would have been great. Would have been great if I could publish the second one this month, but you know, you need the book completed to publish it. So I, I, perhaps if, you know, I had eight to 10 hours a day to work on it, I could have done that. But you see, I work full time. So I'm out of the house for like 10 hours a day. So that doesn't really, it doesn't work unless somehow something magical happens and we find more hours in the day. So like, let me know if you guys have unlocked that secret because I would love it. It would also be great if I just didn't need to sleep, but um, you know, I run into a lot of issues when I don't sleep, as I'm sure other people do. And uh, yeah, so I'm really good at, um, you know, putting stuff on my plate to do, even if it's too much. So but I love everything that I'm doing. So it's, it's hard because some days, like, I will come home, I will think about my book all day. You know how you always, like, have it in the back of your mind, like, marinating or, like, you're thinking of different scenes and you're like, yes, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna write this and I'm gonna, you know, just hit my work count goals and then the end of the day comes and you get home and you do nothing. This time of year, it is so easy for me to get home at the end of the day and just become a pile of nothing because like I stare at a computer screen all day for my job and then to come home and stare at a computer screen again. Some days it's totally fine and it's great, but a lot of the time it's just impossible for me. And um, I know like talking to my other friends who also work full time and write that we experience the same thing. 
and like I was saying, especially this time of year when it's dark at like 6.30, 7 o'clock, that doesn't help either because it's like, oh, it's dark, it's nighttime, it's time to go to bed, watch TV, you know, not be productive, which is not great when you want to be publishing multiple books a year. So basically I need to have a serious discussion with myself and figure out, basically I need to remind myself what's important. Like, no, I don't have to write these books. This is not my job. I go to work every day and I do my job and I get a paycheck, which is great. This is what I, this is my passion and I'm lucky enough that it's something that I can share with people and that they pay me for basically in simple terms. I don't need my books to pay my bills, but I need them to be happy. So that's why I do it. And I have definitely like in the last few years really gotten into the trap of like toxic productivity. And just like those days, I had a day last week at work where I finished the day and I was like, felt so productive. It was great, I got done everything I needed to, and then I went home, and your girl did nothing. And then when I went to bed, I didn't feel so great. I'm like, but I, I did so much today, just not for my, you know, my creative, like my author career. So balance is something that I still struggle with so much, and I constantly feel like time is working against me and that I never have enough time to do all the things that I want to do. I am not a morning person. I never have been. I don't know that I ever will be. I am a night owl. But when you work a nine to five and you have to commute, you do still have to get, like I have to get up early enough that by the end of the day, some days I cannot, like I could go to bed and fall asleep at eight o'clock or seven o'clock. And that's really not helpful when I want to write and release many books in a year. So those are the things that I'm currently struggling with. Thank you so much for asking. <laughs> but things are like, they're good. I guess I just need to get over this little hump of being intimidated by the story that I'm telling, feeling nervous that I am not capable enough to do it, which like, girl, you are. Like, I know I am because I've done it. This is not my first book. This is not my second or third book. This is not even like, we're getting up there. Like, we're building a backlist. Yes, it's like starting over in that, like, I didn't publish my book last month under my name, but it's not my first rodeo. Like, yeah, I'm sure there's like, so much more for me to learn, but I do know a little bit of what I'm doing at this point. Um, I've been doing it for a number of years and helping other people do it. So yeah, this is where we're at, friends. So basically what I'm gonna be working on from now until the new year is this pen name series. My, I'm hoping to release book two. The first or second week of December, and then immediately dive into writing book three and releasing that in January or February. And then the plan was to release one a month until the series was done, and then I could start working on the Devil's Trilogy. Um, and the more I say that, the more I like it. It has a nice ring to it, so I'm excited. But yeah, I'm also, I have two editing clients, one in November, which is a proofread, and one in December, which is a manuscript critique. The critiques are always quicker for me than the proofreads, which is nice because I'll be able to get it done and back to my client before the holidays and, you know, focus back on my book. It started raining, which is like perfect for the vibe. So I'm gonna wrap up this little, um, basically train of thought, mess of thoughts that are going on in my head currently and, uh, get writing because the vibes are here and I'm feeling it. I am working on a bunch of things and I would love to hear what you're working on. So please let me know in the comments. Let me know if you're participating in NaNoWriMo. I am hoping to do weekly 
uh, writing sprints and I'm going to reach out to some of my friends on Instagram and YouTube and see if they want to join me and kind of like co-hosting. Um, so once or twice a week. I'm hoping to do those maybe Tuesdays and Thursdays. I don't know. But I would like to do more writing sprints, especially during NaNoWriMo because I find the community at this time of year is just so excited and I love it. And also I need some accountability because uh, your girl's got lots to be working on. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you have a great week. I will have another video out next week for my patrons. If you're interested in joining me over on Patreon, they get writing videos every week instead of bi-weekly here on YouTube. So the link for that will be down below in the description box. I also share, you know, all the exclusive stuff with them. They get to see all my cover reveals first and all that fun stuff. And there's a few different tiers that you can check out. So like I said, the links for that will be down below as well. I am also um, closed for editing clients for the remainder of the year. But if you would like to schedule something with me for next year, please feel free to reach out. That information is down below as well. My rates will be going up at the beginning of the year. So if you would like to book a date in 2022 with the 2021 rates, be sure to do that as soon as possible so I can give you that discounted rate. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video, even though it wasn't like a typical vlog, it was more of a sit down style. Um, if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel on your way out if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye.